Hi, hello, welcome, or welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, hi, hello. My name is Wendy Martinez and I am a geek. Today we are going to be talking all about the books that I am going to be reading in the month of February. So February is actually a leap month. So we get an extra day, you know, the, that once every four years, and I am excited. So we got a lot of Brandy Sandy here. We got a lot of fantasy romance and just plain fantasy. I'm excited. So let's go ahead and get started. Get started. So I know that I'm aiming a little too high. A little too uh, ambitious, if you will, with my TBR for this month because I have quite a few books here because I have all these like reading vlogs that I want to do because I wanted to start doing more fun reading vlogs and just other books that I just want to get to. But like, if I'm being real with myself, if I, am I gonna get to all of these? Probably not. Probably not. Especially with the way that Baldur's Gate 3 has been taking over my life. It has literally taken the place of a reading <laughs> because Asterion. Asterion. Do, do I need to say more? So <laughs> because of that, am I probably going to get to all of these? Probably not, but I am going to try. So let's just go ahead and get started with the first book that, uh, the first few books that I want to read, and that is A Court of Mist and Fury by Sarah J. Mass. I'm doing a re Akatar reading vlog where I finally read all the Court and Thorns of Roses books because I've read the first one like three times, but I have not read the rest of the series. So I am excited to finally read the rest of the series. So that is why A Court of Mist and Fury is in here. So this is book two. Then I have A Court of Wings and Ruin. So that's book three. And then A Court of Frost and Starlight, which is a book four. So I'm going to be reading <laughs> these three books for that reading vlog. And then I'm going to read the last, the latest one in March because the vlog is gonna come out in March. I'm excited, okay? I'm excited because I've heard that this is like the best book in the series. The first book is a Beauty of the Beast retelling. The second book is a Hades and Persephone based retelling, which makes sense because Rysan has that like dark vibe. He's a part of the night court. Like total Hades and Persephone vibes, right? So I'm excited to get to this one. I am excited to see why Rysan is a, is it Rysand or Rysand? I, I'm, I'm him, okay? I'm just excited to see how he's like Shadow Daddy because everybody calls him Shadow Daddy. And I want to know what all the uh, hullabaloo is about, okay? And I'm excited to just get to the rest of these series and stay tuned for that vlog because I feel like I'm the only person on earth that has not read this series, I swear. The next books that I'm going to talk about are for my other reading vlog that I am going to have coming out in February, and that is my Brandy Sandy, reading Brandon Sanderson for the first time and deciding if he is worth it. So the first book that I'm going to read by him is Elantris by obviously Brandon Sanderson and this is a audiobook that I'm going to be listening to. I already have it. I don't know what this one is about. I know it is a fantasy, <laughs> high fantasy, and that's all I know. So that's going to be one book that I read by him. The next book that I'm reading by Brandon Sanderson is Trust Me Emerald Sea and this one is about a girl named Tress who lives in this island. Somebody takes the love of her life away from her and she has to go across this emerald sea to rescue him and this sea is very dangerous because the sea is not like a regular sea. It's like made out of spores I believe and spores, all these spores do these different things and it's just like a super dangerous, dangerous journey but she wants to, she wants to save him, okay? And we love female characters that go after men not like chase them but like they turn they took like the damsel in distress and flipped it on its head i'm excited the next book that i'm reading by brandon sanderson is yumi and the nightmare painter obviously by brandon sanderson and in this one we follow our two characters we follow yumi she's like this goody two shoes that follows every strict rule and because of that she has the power to like make these like spirit 
beings, but she's tired of being the goody two shoes because she's always alone and she's tired of being lonely. And then on the other side, we have the painter and the painter wants to be a hero and he's also very lonely. So these two collide and things happen. And that's all I know. So I'm very excited for this one as well. I love this cover. This cover is just gorgeous. And I mean, okay, we have these beautiful illustrations in here like Brandon Sanderson. This is just gorgeous. Like, come on. And then the last book that I'm reading by Brandon Sanderson this month is Warbreaker. And this one I am very intrigued by. I'm very excited for. It is a thick B. She's a thick one. She thick, but it's okay. This one I heard it's about two princesses. One is going supposed to marry like this like god king and then there's this like magic system called what is it called? Biochromatic? Biochromatic where the, there's this thing called like breath and it's kind of like color magic-y and the color magic sort of plays a big role in moving the story and the plot and this is one of Brandon Sanderson's only like romantic fantasies like this is actually a romanticy so I am excited for this one because Brandon Sanderson does write a lot of high fantasy so I'm very intrigued to also read a romanticy by him as well and this is a standalone I believe now that I got the books that I'm going to be reading for vlogs out of the way Let's go ahead and talk about the other books that I'm going to be reading. I have a few like fun books that I just want to read just for fun. I have a nonfiction and I have my audio, the books that I want to listen to on audio, and then I have the mangas that I'm going to read. So all of these other books, if I don't say that I'm listening to it on audio, I'm going to be physically reading them. I don't really do audio with books that I know that I'm going to like or think that I'm going to like. I tend to usually read the physical copy because it sticks more. But these two, the two audiobooks that I will be listening to because these are two that I'm not sure if it's going to be my cup of tea or not. And that is Happiness Falls by Angie Kim. This one is about a father that goes missing and the family starts to basically like go hunting for him and they do everything that they possibly can to get their father back and the more and more that they look into his past the more and more they realize how many secrets he had and maybe why he was taken and that he really wasn't the man that they thought he was so it seems really fun it seems like a very like dramatic family sort of mystery thriller sort of vibe so I'm excited for this one so the next book that I have is also a thriller it is The Silent Patient by Alex M McLeodies I'm sorry if I'm saying this wrong please correct me but don't do it mean like I don't know okay so please correct me in a nice way <laughs> in a nice way because I can take criticism but I can't take bullying okay in this book we basically follow a woman who was a wife and then all of a sudden one time her husband comes home and she strikes him she shoots him in the um facial area and obviously unalives him and because of that after that she refused to talk and nobody knows why she did it like she went to the mental asylum because obviously she was considered you know insane for doing this and she just stopped talking and then this uh detective or someone goes in and he is like set on getting her to talk and finding out what happened to her husband and i heard that it's crazy and there's there's all these plot twists and i've heard nothing but good things about it but however, I did hear a few like negative reviews, so we'll see how I feel about this one. So that is my two audiobooks that I will be listening to, other than the Brandy Sandy one. And now let's move on to the mangas. Let's move on to the mangas. So for the mangas, the first one that I want to read is My Summer of You by Nagisa Fu Furuya. So Nagisa Furuya and this one looks really good. These are about two boys that bl uh, like a romance blossoms in their high school and it seems really cute. Okay, it gives me like high school boy romance vibes. So it gives me like very much like Heartstopper sort of vibes and I loved Heartstopper the show. I loved Heartstopper the graphic novel series. So I am excited to jump into this one. And then the other mangas that I will be reading is Blood on the Tracks. I got a few more. So I have volume two. Volume three is on its way to me. And then I have volume four. 
and volume five. So last month I I said that these books are about I thought it was like about zombie apocalypse and I was so wrong oh my gosh I was so wrong this book is actually or this manga series is actually about a mother and her son who have like this really weird strange creepy relationship like the mother is like crazy like think like Bates Motel Psycho is it Psycho? I think it's Psycho, right? Bates Motel sort of vibes, you know, like that, that dynamic between the mom and the son, how, like, she's a little bit crazy, and because of that, he's a little bit crazy. You know, that, that, it was, it was really good. It was really good, so I'm excited to be reading this. And my next two books are, one is a sequel, and the other one is just for a book club that I have. But anyways, the first book is a sequel and that is Emily Wilde's A Map of the Other Lands. If you guys have been watching me for just a couple of months, you guys might know that I was obsessed with Emily Wilde's Encyclopedia of Fairies. I discovered the genre of cozy fantasy in 2023 and I'm never looking back, okay? I am never looking back. It's so, it was, I love cozy fantasy. I realized I love cozy fantasy. And I'm ex so excited to move on to the sequel to Emily Wilde's because Emily Wilde's Encyclopedia of Fairies was actually one of my top 10 books of 2023. So I'm excited to read the sequel. And in this one, uh, without giving anything away, we're continuing, we're continuing to follow Emily Wilde, who's the curmudgeon professor, as these fairies sort of invade her, the college that she teaches at. And that's not giving anything away from the first book or anything like that. That's, I'm gonna keep it basic. And that's, that's all. So I'm excited. I'm excited to read this one. I might vlog it. I might vlog it. And I'm to see how it compares to the first one. The last fictional book that I want to read this month is The Library of the Unwritten by A.J. Hackwith. I don't know why I never heard of this book. This is a book that I want to read for my like online book club sort of thing that I want to do. I hadn't heard of this until like recently and I'm like why did I not know that this book existed? Because it sounds so good! It just sounds so good! In this book we are following a, a library in hell, right? And in this library there are books that were never finished. This library is full of books that were just never finished and a librarian basically takes care of them until one day the characters from a lot of these books end up breaking out of these books and wrecking havoc and the librarian has to track them down in heaven and hell and in the in-between. And like if that does not sound good to you, I, I don't know. I don't know what it is. Like I'm not religious but I love like reading books about like heaven versus hell and like I don't know what it is. I don't know what it is. I don't know if it's like growing up Catholic. You know, like I'm not, but like growing up Catholic. I don't, I don't know what it is. I'm just like, yes, give me angels, give me demons, throw them at each other. You know what I mean? And I like, it makes for a good story. I, I don't know. I don't know. So if you guys watched my uh, TBR cart video and I'll post the link somewhere here and down below. I talked about how I want to read more nonfiction this year, at least 12 nonfiction, so one nonfiction a month. I didn't do that for January, but I do want to do it for February, and I want to read Come As You Are, and this is The Surprising New Science That Will Transform Your S Life. And I have actually already started reading this. I'm on page 52, and the reason why I want to read this isn't so much for like the transform your S life. It's more like I am learning so much about my body as a woman and my my insides and my outsides and my hormones and a lot of a lot of things that like us as women go through and what society puts us through versus what our bodies are doing and what it really means and I am loving it so so much so far like I've already learned so much it has already been helping me just like love my body as it is and love everything about it including down there and just loving who I am as a woman and like the amazing powers that we have just as like what our body can do and I'm really liking this honestly a lot 
like a lot. Um, I'm learning about like my turn-ons and my turn-offs and what it means for my S life in that sense as well. And I feel like every woman, whether you are single, whether you are in a relationship, should definitely read this book. I just... I love it. Like, I just love it. I love it. And I'm barely 52 pages in. Like, I've already learned so much. So that is it, you guys. That is everything that I want to read in February. I, like I said, I think I am, um, I'm reaching just a little bit. Just a little bit. A little too reachy, reachy, but it's okay. It's okay. I think we can try. <laughs> I don't want to say we can do it, but I think we can try. We can try. Okay, this is my, oh my gosh, I don't even want to attempt. Every time I try this, it goes just like horribly wrong. Oh, maybe, maybe I can't. <gasps> nope, nope, oh, uh, th that's everything. Like I said, it always goes wrong. Wrong. <laughs> Anyways, you guys, that is everything. I hope you guys enjoyed this video as much as I enjoyed making it. Please stay tuned for the Brandon Sanderson reading vlog this month and then stay tuned for the court of thorns and roses reading vlog next month and if you guys have not read a court of thorns and roses please feel free to also read it and that way when we get to that when i release that video we can just discuss in the comments and things like that that would just be awesome that would just be fun that would just be a grand old time anyways you guys thank you guys so much for watching and i hope to see you in the next video mm -hmm.